biggest misconception about you? That I'm nice. I'm kidding, that's so awful. That's not even, I, I am nice. I just... Hey, what's up, this is Gina Rodriguez and this is 25 Things You Don't Know About Me and you may not care. My family has a nickname for me and it's G. Because my dad's name is Gino. So sometimes when they scream, Gino! They, like me and my dad both will be like, yes! So it's just G, G for me. And my friends call me Vag. Like vagina, the best part of a vagina is Gina. A hidden talent that I can show you is I have a double jointed thumbs. I don't know if that's a hidden talent. I feel like that's just like a born with talent. It's just, I was born this way, baby. I'll miss everything about playing James. I'll miss the sets and the crew and the cast and I'll miss saying the lines that Jenny writes and I'll miss putting on the silly A-line dresses and the cutesy earrings and stuff and I'm so not like that and so I'll miss all of it. My father getting healthy. He got sick a few years ago and now he's healthy. That was probably the best gift I ever got. My first concert was NSYNC and I did a meet and greet with Justin Timberlake and I was like 16 years old and I went with my best friend and next door neighbor at the time, Janice. I don't like concerts, no. I only went because she really wanted to go and my father was a union rep so he got his tickets because the union rep, the union center, United Center and that's what they were playing so my father got his tickets and meet and greets. How do I like giving back to others is by using my pl platform for good. It's about giving my blessings away and creating room for more. I like to be of service and when I'm given opportunities like working with Always, uh, that is a double blessing for me. Oh my god, my most embarrassing moment during an audition was pilot season. The year that I booked Jane, I ripped my pencil skirt down the back in the audition, no panties. It was awful. It was awful. The, one of the assistants gave me her sweater to wrap around my waist. That's hilarious. Because it was bad news. The most romantic thing Joe has ever done for me and continues to do for me is because he knows that my peace and balance comes from everything clean. So even if it's a mess I've made, he'll clean it up so that I can spend more time with him. Because it really is so much more romantic when somebody just like does what you need, not like ridiculous gestures, but like what you need. And like, I just need help sometimes. And he just helps me. Oh my God, perfect by Ed Sheeran. Oh my God, oh my God. Every time I just imagine my husband or my boyfriend, fiance, son of a bitch, what is he now? My fiance at the end of the aisle and that song, and him just like singing that song to me with Ed Sheeran's mouth. Like in his mouth. <laughs> Can you imagine? Joe is like a little ginger on the side. <laughs> I am very, very lucky because my fans are super awesome and the majority of them are like young girls and they're just not very nasty or rude or anything bizarre. But I did have a girl stop me, two hands to the chest in the middle of the street. And I was like, girl, you're gonna get us hit. You are gonna get us hit. If you do not, she was like, oh, oh my God. So she had me here and I was like, and then I was like, girl, we're gonna get hit if we do not move. So that was the weirdest one where I was like, we gotta get out of the, we gotta get out of the street, girl, we gotta go. She almost got us killed. 